Hello and welcome to Bees Jar. My name's Billy and today I want to show you how to make this Woodland Walk double wrap bracelet. Okay, so we're going to make this fabulous double wrap Woodland Walk bracelet. And we're going to be using a two millimetre brown leather, an S long cord, we've got our coin bead to finish so this is going to act as our fastener we have an eight millimeter faceted turquoise bead an eight millimeter plain silver bead and a square wood bead that's approximately eight millimeters also i've also just got my scissors and the other thing we'll be working with is a board with a bulldog clip at the top so firstly what i'm going to do is evenly half the meter of leather so get your ends together and we're just going to work along so we know we've got it halved evenly so you've got your loop and we're going to place that loop under the bulldog clip so it's holding that nice and securely for us you're then going to use about three meters of the S long cord. Then we're going to half the S long cord as we did the leather. So we've got another loop here. I'm going to take that loop through the two strands of leather. So we're going to go through that with the two strands and up towards the bulldog clip, like so. You're then just going to create a very normal, straightforward knot. And tie that nice and tightly around the loop. Now just before we continue, we just want to check that the loop we've created in the leather is going to pass through our coin. So I need to get this one a little bit closer. So a generous length, a generous amount of, of a gap, so it pushes through easily. So that loop's now correct. I can secure that in place with my bulldog clip and tighten my Eslon securely. And I'm just going to do a second knot as well here. Okay, so now I'm all ready to start. And we're going to first add our turquoise bead. So with my right hand strand, I'm going to go through the hole on my turquoise bead. So I've gone from the right to the left. And then my left cord is going to go through the opposite direction. So we're crossing over with our threads like so. So we've got the left hand cord coming out to the right and the right hand to the left. And then you're going to just pull on these to work the bead up towards our loop. At this point we're going to take our cord and we're going to go under the two leather ones. So I've gone behind them and up through the centre. And you just want to pull that tightly, like so. So now we've got the leathers on the outside and the S long coming up from the inside. Now it depends if you want to carry on and do three turquoise beads in succession or you can swap onto the wood or the silver. 
So the right hand's come through the centre of my turquoise bead and the left hand's going in the opposite direction. So they're crossing over. And again, we're going to work that down towards the beads we just placed on. And this will start to build up and they will flatten out as we carry on with the design. So we've got our two echelons on the outside now and we're going to go under the leather and up through the middle of the leather. Just going to use a different bead to show your contrast. So we're going to go to the silver bead. So through from the right hand side and then through from the left hand side. And then we're going to take these up to the top, like so. You'll see it really start to form a nice path going down. So under, up, and then your next bead. So through one side and through the other side. and then under and up. So you're just going to keep weaving all the way down until you've got the length required to wrap around the bracelet size twice. So around the wrist twice. Okay. So once you've worked quite a way along and you've got your woodland path created, you get towards the bottom of your project. And what we want to do is bring all this tension nice and tight. So I'm just going to create a basic knot here with the S long cords. So just the S long cords at this moment. So I'm going to loop that over my finger, slide the loop off and then take the ends up through the center. That's just going to keep my tension for the bracelet and then we're going to secure the leather in place as well. Just work that knot in and then I'm going to come behind the leather straps. So I've looped back on myself and again I'm going to create another knot here to keep the tension now with the leather. So I'm going to make a loop around my finger with the eslam and then back through the loop and working that really nice and tight so that the leather doesn't move around as well. So I've created my knot at the bottom. And the beads are all sat flat. I'm then going to go through with one strand of leather through the centre hole and the hole set off to the side. And I'm going to do the same with the Eslon. So I'm going to go through with the leather. So the same holes. Now we want to tie these together. So this time we've got the Eslon and the leather and we're just going to make our knot here. It's a great project if you're out and about because you don't have to have any real tools other than a pair of scissors. So we're just really tying a very tight knot here and I'd suggest maybe putting a dab of nail varnish or glue on the knot just to really seal it and then once that's finished and tied so the button end is on that will go through the loop that we started with and you're just going to remove the excess threads that are after the button so we're just going to take that I usually leave about a five millimeter length 
I just personally prefer that finish. And then that is your two wrap bracelet and it fastens into the loop. And that's how you finish off the bracelet. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again for our next video. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us comments, get back to us, and if there's a particular project you'd like to see, let us know.